So it's about four o'clock Wednesday and it is starting. Okay guys, it's um, it's been four hours and uh, we're at about eh, three or four inches maybe. This is drift, but it's not too bad. But either way though, I'm gonna try my little snowblower. I know you can't see it right there. Um, so it's been, it's around 8.30, 9 o'clock now. And um, started snowing around four. So it's like been five hours or so. so I'm gonna take the uh, little snowblower and uh, try it out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try the little one first. Choke, high throttle. And I know you can't really see, I only have my garage lights on. When I go out there, the, uh, the new floodlights that I installed should kick in, should be able to see better. Hello, of course, of course it won't start when you need it.
So it actually worked okay. However, uh, a few times it just stalled because it bogged down from too much snow. Like if I went too fast or something, it would bog down. And then at the end of the uh, run, I had to put it on the choke or close to choke for it to continue running. Otherwise, it would want to stall and bog down. So I think the carburetor is probably dirty. But uh, I did manage to get the entire driveway and the walkway. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to try that one. Ding, son! What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Mowers and Blowers headquarters. And it's the next day from the snowstorm. While last night I went out with that small snowblower, it kind of bogged down at some areas where it was really heavy. Remember, I never cleaned up that carburetor when I took it out of storage for two years. So it probably has some sediment or some clogginess inside the carburetor, but not bad because it runs on its own. You know what I mean? So, uh, I think a quick and dirty would probably fix that. But uh, other than a little bit of bogging and installing a couple of times, it really didn't do that bad, you know? So I thought that was it, the five inches we got last night. But actually, uh, what happened was they had a break where the snow completely stopped. And then during a period of time, early in the morning, right? Like around two o'clock in the morning or so, it turned into sleet. Okay, so it started sort of raining a little and then it got colder and then it snowed throughout the day, right? Uh, it's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning on Thursday and uh, I just got out of my uh, porch there, the door, you know, from the house and uh, it was about, I wouldn't say a foot, but it's kind of hard to uh, know exactly if it was a foot or not because the winds were blowing so much you have drifts in places. Like if you look at my the Mercedes and the Acura, right? If you look at the wheels, it only appears to be like three, four inches, you know what I mean? But then in other places, it's over a foot. So I really can't tell, but it's, no matter what, it's a significant amount of snow. As I was trying to clear my um, stairs to come out of my house, there's ice under it. So that's gonna be a problem. I don't think uh, that little medium-sized snowblower is gonna be able to get that ice. I might have to bring out the big boy. But I'm gonna try the medium one uh, first, and then the big boy, and then I'm gonna whip out the tractor. Hope it starts. Okay, I'm priming it, choke, full throttle. I'm gonna try the medium sized one for a pass and see how it does. If it's good, I'll continue using it. If it sucks, I'll have to whip out the big boy.
Okay, so you know what? That did okay. As you can see from the cut, right? There are parts here where it's only four or five inches. And then if you go all the way over here where the drifts are, probably the middle of the uh, driveway, you'll see it's about, I don't know, eight inches or so. So I don't think we got a foot. You know what? It's working pretty good and it doesn't bog down. Uh, but it doesn't really throw the snow all that um, far. So guess what? Why just screw around? Let's whip out the big boy.
stop recording. It's time for the Blue Bayou. Put some primer in there to start it. It's been a while. Oh, I got a fuel shut off, duh. Always.
So how about that, guys? My Blue Bayou GT6000 Craftsman with the Vanguard horizontal engine was so much fun. Oh my goodness. I cleared up my driveway uh, in no time and it was so much fun. However, I do want to tell you that right around here where the snowplow uh, has uh, boxed my uh, cars in over here, it's all like ice and uh, heavy slush over here. So because all this stuff is still you know, uh, full of snow, it's hard for the chains to grip and I'm not heavy enough to, you know, get it down there. So this is gonna take a snow blower to blow out. So I might have to just blow it straight out over there. Nobody said it was gonna be uh, quick. It took uh, <laughs> close to an hour to clear our driveway, our walkway using this and that. And the snowblower, even though it's not running 100% because it does sort of uh, have a few backfires here and there. It's either the valves or I need to clean the carburetor. But it's still, as long as it was running at full throttle, right? A couple of pops here and there, just, uh, you guys saw from time lapse, the thing is a beast. I mean, just nothing can stop it. It's just so strong, you know, even with some slushy parts over here. It was really awesome, you know. Uh, I will tell you though, the most fun I had was with that, uh, with the Blue Bayou, you know, that plow thing. I mean, you know, in the beginning it was a learning curve because I had never used a plow before. I had to know where to raise the plow and where to lower it. And then when you get to the banks and stuff, you want to push it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, my neighbor Steve, his snowblower was never tuned up before winter, so he didn't plow at all, I don't think. I think he might have just shoveled. But uh, they, they left for something or other. I haven't seen them in a while. But uh, I'm going to clear their driveway too with my uh, tractor, you know, just to have a little fun with it and help them clear it out a bit. Uh, they're both nurses, so they're dealing with a lot of COVID stuff. So I'm going to uh, try to help them out. I'm going to put you on time lapse.
So, um, when I put away my Toro 616Z, what I did was I shut off the fuel shutoff, right? And I let it run inside the shed. And a subscriber told me that when it, when it finally ran out of fuel, I forgot to turn the switch off, the ignition. And so when I checked today, sure enough, the ignition was on. So the battery is done, Ski! So I'm going to uh, charge it up while, uh, while I remember it. One of my subscribers also, Rick Broerman, told me, hey, Henry, make me a snowman. It doesn't really stick very well, so. Here you go, Rick. There's your snowman. My daughter made a fort. They're gonna have a snowball fight. Oh my God. I was like a kid in a candy store playing with my tractor. I did Steve's house. I did Kevin's uh, apron. I went along this street back and forth. I did the apron of Darren's house because it was all iced up and stuff. And then after I went over it a few times, um, started to loosen up and I was able to scrape it up. Went and helped Andy the Brit a little bit, but he's got cars all over the place so I couldn't really go anywhere. Didn't want to hit his car. Cleared out my uh, wife's car. My van, I'm not going anywhere soon, so. Uh, it's mostly dug out. Man, let me tell you guys, I absolutely love my tractor. Riding around a tractor with a plow was just so much fun. It wasn't even like work, you know? It was so much fun. I totally enjoyed it. I may never use my snow blowers again, but uh, the big baby here, the, the big boy, it really, really cut through the snow even though the carburetor may need cleaning and the valves might maybe need done because uh, it was still so powerful, you know, but it's so big though, you know, it was kind of tough to maneuver left and right with the steering. Uh, this thing bogged down uh, last night and I may need a carb clean eventually. So I have things to do for sure. Uh, this thing actually ran very well. The medium sized one ran very well, but when I started using this, Everything was icy, so you really couldn't do anything with this. If it was uh, fresh powdered snow, this thing would have worked great. This, there's nothing wrong with this one, you know? And I, I don't know what I, what I could tell you about this. I mean, uh, my tractor here, uh, Blue Bayou, flawless. I mean, worked great. I mean, if I was like a little heavier of a guy, it might have had better traction, you know, because... You know, I'm, I'm only 150 pounds, you know, and uh, we, even with the wheel weights in the back, right, the, the wheels were slipping on snow, you know, so if I had some more weight on there, I bet you could really push, you know. I even put this thing in low gear just to try it, but it went so slow, you know what I mean? I wanted to just like ram through uh, the snow walls and stuff. That was really a lot of fun. I was on this thing for like an hour. I, I, I actually ran out of gas in the middle of the street. And uh, I had to put some more gas in here. But let me tell you, the Blue Bayou, I may never sell because I'm telling you, it just was flawless. It's got the Vanguard in there. That's why. That engine is just unbelievable. Anyway, I just had a really good time today clearing my snow. I, I really got to tell you, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I hope it snows soon again, but I'm not too sure about that. But uh, loved it, loved it, loved it. Had a great, great time. I mean, who really actually has a really great time blowing snow, right? But uh, <laughs> I do. I enjoyed it so much, man. Especially the tractor. It was so much fun plowing. <laughs> oh God, I wish it would snow again, really. I mean, I could have been on there all day. It was like, there was no work involved. Just had to um, pull the plow up sometimes and swivel it to the left or to the right, you know? And of course, shifting gears forward and backwards, forward and backwards. I, I only use like first gear, but that has a big pulley on it, so it's pretty fast, you know, unless you're in low gear. Flawless. Did I say flawless before? I mean, that Blue Bayou is just phenomenal. Really great.
really great. Snow blowers, there's always so many problems with it, you know? Clogs the chute, carburetor, valves. That tractor, primo. Never had a problem. Uh, so that was a winter storm gale, nor'easter for winter of 2020, the first storm of the season. Got about, uh, I want to say six inches. They said eight to 14, so again, the weatherman is wrong. Wrong. Regardless, though, I had a really good time. <laughs> and really great to be able to use the big boy, try out the other two, and the most, most importantly, for me to actually plow with a tractor for the very first time in my life. Another check off the bucket list, right? Thanks a lot for joining me on today's fun snow cleanup. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.